All right, hey Bill, how you doing? My name's Sam Larson, in case you had never met me before. <laughs> and this is my uh, Spectre V2, 700 V2, that I converted to a gasser. So, um, basically speaking, I ordered this Spectre 700 V2 uh, electric heli kit. It came in and it sat around for about a month. Uh, I had ordered the Blackout Mods uh, V2 gasser conversion from Dennis Guskos. I think you say Dionysus, uh, blackout mods over in Greece. Uh, eventually that came in and uh, the engine is a TRM 310 engine. Came from um, Heli Direct by way of Carrie uh, uh, Shirley. So um, that and I got these Aurora blades and these are rapid tail blades and I have a Neo in there and I have the infamous new Theta servos on here. And this is also uh, the M-Studio muffler. And these are actually a muffler, not just a pipe. So they actually muffle. Um, I have four tanks I've flown through it so far just to do the engine break-in. So I'm still working on the break-in. But just a little bit of uh, flying around I've been doing with it. It seems to be very, very stable. It's very well balanced and very solid. And I'll tell you, the quality of the conversion was amazing. It, it just went together like it came from the factory that way. So I'm very, very impressed. Uh, traditionally, I've been flying other brands of helicopters. I don't have a lot of experience with the XL Power, but uh, from what I've seen so far, it, it's been just as good as anything else that's out there. Alright, so now I removed the canopy so we can get a look at the inside here. And uh, he did a really good job. Uh, it's really interesting the way they have this uh, engine mount. Um, there's some grass in here, sorry. But the whole thing is set up so that I can loosen a couple screws here and on the bottom and I can actually adjust the tension of the primary belt right here. Which is what connects the engine to the uh, transmission. So it's, it's pretty nice. It's very simple. You don't have to disassemble a lot of things. Uh, pretty neat as far as wire runs are concerned. You got your Neo up top there. I, I've just got the battery wires looped through here and they're not touching anything, which is great. And I have my battery mount to here. I've seen other guys have them in different places, but this is where I chose to, to go for now. And I got a great balance on it. Uh, the interesting thing is there's no real instructions that come with it. So uh, you kind of have to figure a few things out and uh, this is where we end up with the fuel tank which I bought off of Amazon but it worked out really well and uh, I, I, I'll tell you I can't say enough I'm very happy with the way it came out. I want to spin this around if you don't mind show you the other side here and uh, another nice thing is there's only two screws that need to be uh, loosened to adjust the belt tension for the tail and uh, you know you've got just like the V2 everything stays the same as far as the tail is concerned. Oh, one thing I can say, even though it's running rich, I'm getting about 10 minutes of flight time and coming down with still that much fuel in, in the tank right now. And we're running rich. Uh, I'm getting ready to pull out my uh, uh, gas. I'm going to fuel it back up again. I'm going to take it out. And on this flight, we're going to kick it up a notch, bring it up to a little bit higher RPM and uh, actually do some pretty good maneuvers. I've been doing some light loops and some uh, some basic uh, you know circuits but now I'm gonna think I'm gonna try a few TikToks and stuff and see how she performs. Wow, isn't that helicopter amazing? Check out the links below to see where you can get one today. And don't forget to subscribe to Bill Ann YouTube channel.